got this antique um, piece. I'm not too sure it looks antique, but it also looks a little repro, but I'll call it an antique to make myself feel better, you know? I got it in London in an old shop with an old man and it wasn't working. And he basically gave me a real cheap price on it and said, you know, you can, if you can get it working, great. I don't care kind of thing. So I brought it back to my shop here and I'm going to open it up. The mechanism seems to spring loose and, and just kind of disappears for some reason. So we'll look at the mechanism, see if it's working, and then we'll go from there. So we'll analyze the problem. So, you know, Willie Restoration Man is going to give, go at it. So, come on, let's go work out what's wrong with this. I bought this. It's an elephant. And it's got a little wind-up thing here in London when I was there. And from what I gather, this ball comes out here, runs down there, shoots in there. And then when you wind this, which it's not doing properly, and there's gears underneath, it turns, oh, like this. It wasn't turning before, I just got it turning a bit, actually. And it brings the ball up. Now, I had trouble, that spine piece is crooked, and I just straightened it. And it's supposed to go all the way up. I have enough time here. Maybe we will be here another half hour. And when it gets to the top, it just drops down. I got three of these balls. I might get another couple. So it gets up here, and then it... See, I fixed that yesterday, bent that a little bit open. And then it does it all over again. Now it's great, but when this, this thing was bent up here, and the antique guy said it was running, and then it stopped. Well, I've got the spine, this little straightened, and this little tab pushed down so that it stays running. But as you can see, under here, when I wind up, nothing happens. The spring isn't turning here at all. So we're going to have to take it apart and find out what's wrong with that spring. So that's going to be a little bit of a deal. I think I can take this off and pull this out and work on this motor. We will see. But this, this is connected as well, this whole shaft thing here, with this umbrella. So who knows what this is going to entail in the end. Hmm. Don't really want to take the whole elephant off, but I might have to. Okay, so I'll just start stripping it by bending these tabs open and see how what I get, okay? This is one of these kind of Pandora box things where you don't really know where you're going with it all. See these tabs here for the motor. So I'm hoping to get those open. Ah, there she goes. It's actually got an overlap, which is very unusual. I don't know whether this is really that old. The guy said it was old, but I don't totally believe him. Oh, impression a bit of a repro. What? Too good a condition, maybe, huh? So I got those two tabs straight, and that's all you do. And then you can pull this motor down. Maybe. There's movement on one side, there's no movement on the other for some reason. Yep, there's movement. This could be, oh, the key's still on. Okay, that helps. It's still not coming out, whatever's holding it. And I'm trying to get this, piece, this motor pulled out and it's not coming. I think the shaft through the elephant's holding it. I'm not too sure how they're fixed yet. I gotta go have a look. Yeah, so this top of this shaft is basically uh, wedged on and it's pulled off now with the vice grips and pipe pliers. I'll just put that back together for the time being so I have that ready to go back on. So now I've got the little spacer off 
as well. Put them out of the way. And now I got the elephant open here. But I still have no idea how this comes out, this motor. It's still in there. And it ain't going anywhere. That's because the key comes away out here to the side. So I think I'm going to have to open the whole thing up with the tabs. Okay, after a bit of wrangling and taking this elephant off, if you can see it there, I took the tab off the top there and the tab off the bottom and it did come out in the end and wrangled this thing out, this motor. And now we can actually have a look at why this motor is not winding up. Although it does, see, it winds and then it skips. Don't tell me now it's working. Of course, now it's working. Now they've taken it all apart. So, I don't think it's a spring, because the spring is winding up here. Maybe it's something else. So we'll put it back in and see if we can get it working first. So, it's this that's bent. Still, it's the, the uh, wire, see, the wire is coming up here, it's hitting here somewhere. So I can put the elephant back together and just tweak that and it should work. So without this on top, this little wheel flat you know, umbrella thing going on the elephant, it goes too fast. Well, once, I gotta wind a bit more. Once you get it going, it's lovely. Isn't that pretty? Just some simple adjustments and finding the motor's fine and it was these bars that were bent a little, tweaked a little and away she goes. I didn't think it was going to work. Ooh, you have to really wind it when you get three balls up there. It gets too heavy maybe. Got a, a lay level though to run. Isn't that pretty? 